morning, y'all. So it's going to be part two of our Houston delivery. Uh, I took my 10 hour last night uh, in uh, just outside of Tucson. So just did that. I'm only 900 and some miles away from Houston, so there's no reason for me to rush it or have my outlaw tendencies. I'll just take it easy and enjoy the ride. Be a legal beagle. That's all right. It makes me feel more comfortable sometimes anyways. Did my pre-trip. Make sure the load was strapped down still. Now we're cruising. So, should uh, probably be, let's say, probably stop at like Fort, uh, probably Odessa or something, I don't know whether I know we got two fuel stops, El Paso and San Antonio. So, uh, who knows maybe we'll stop in San Antonio by the way. But, I'll take y'all along the ride. And if I see anything cool, I'll show you. If not, we'll see you in El Paso on our next fuel stop. Unless they come up with something to think about. But, who knows? I'm just gonna buy some music, drink my, my daily morning energy. Cruise. All right, y'all. Pull air horn if you see me. We're out here in Deming. I guess I need to fuel quicker than I thought. I get to this fuel island, this Petro. All the fuel lines are taken, and no one's getting fuel. All these dudes are just sitting in their truck, wasting time. Don't do that. It pisses a driver off when they're in a hurry and they just want to give fuel and go and they got to sit and wait for people to finish eating their sandwich or whatever the fuck they're doing don't do it just don't do it it's annoying pisses all of us off it's inconsiderate <clears throat> don't be one of them drivers Well, y'all, we made it to Van Horn. We'll sit down here for the night. I'm in no big rush. I got 600 miles left in about 400 a day. But, just remind everybody have common courtesy on the road with four wheelers, other drivers. Just remember, man, your life is not worth being in that hurry. I saw a lot of dub drivers today. Also, out of common courtesy, I fuel at truck stops. You know, if you're done fueling, man, pull up. If you're going to be longer than 30 minutes in the pull-up spot, go park. Don't sit in the fuel island. It pisses people off. I really did. I saw some dude. I was there for probably 15, 15 minutes, and the dude was still in there sitting in his front seat. And I had to wait probably 5 or 8 minutes before I could even get in the fuel island to get fuel. But, that's pretty much it. Very slow, easy day. I'm gonna go get some food. I got some Wendy's. I don't recommend eating out on the road, but I got body type where I eat whatever the hell I want, and I'll gain any weight. It's just crazy. I am beat. I don't know why I'm tired. It's just one of those things. It's kind of radiant cloudy out here. It just puts you one of the one of the moods. But yeah. Remember, respect others. Respect other drivers. Respect other people on the road. Well, that's it. Catch you guys on the next one. Keep the shiny side up. Put the turbo whistle. Grind some gears. And we will see you on the next one.